Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about different types of photo printing paper and what considerations you might have when choosing one for printing your own photography. So I did a video a little while back where I was unboxing a Epson Expression Photo XP970 printer. I'll put a link up top to that. And in that video, I was unboxing it, I was showing you that, and then at the end of the video I did some test prints and just did a little kind of talk about how those prints came out and also that I was going to investigate a little bit more into different types of papers, get some ICC profiles for my printer and, and generally just try and improve and, uh, and get better results from the printer. And so that's what I've been doing really. At the time when I did the video, I was using this paper, so HP Advanced Photo Paper. This is a, a glossy paper. It's just some that I had at the time lying around. Uh, it came out okay, but I'm not a massive fan of the high gloss look. Um, you do get some good rich colours with the gloss papers, but I prefer a more fine art feel, so a little bit more tactile, a bit more texture to the paper. I did a little bit of research into a few different types of papers. I looked at some Canon ones, Canon Pro papers, Hannah Muller uh, papers, they're really good from what I've read. Um, but the two I settled on were a photo speed paper and a Canson paper. So um, the photo speed one is what I use as my matte paper. And uh, photo speed was recommended to me uh, by a fellow YouTuber, Andrew Hamilton. Uh, I'll put a link to his uh, page in the description below, go check that out. It's um, 315 GSM, so quite thick, quite heavyweight, soft textured. It's called bright white, but it's actually not that bright white. <laughs> it's got a slight um, warm tone to the paper. Uh, so it's 100% yeah, cotton matte fine art paper. And then I also chose a barita paper. So this is Canson Infinity Photographic 2. And um, yeah, it's like a semi-gloss this, so um, like I said, I don't really like the high gloss, but this has got um, a kind of a satin or a lustre feel to it. So not really, really shiny, but you do get the kind of the rich tones that you would with a gloss paper, but without all the, the high sheen. Yeah, and the, the barita, I think it's, um, it's a coating that they put on the paper, so it's uh, barium sulfate, I think. And that goes on before the emulsion coatings uh, and that somehow helps the, the pigments to adhere to the paper and you get richer colours, uh, particularly the blacks. So a lot of people like a barita paper for black and white prints, but it's also good for colour as well. Um, but it's a bit different to the matte, you get a different feel. So I'll show you a side by side comparison of the matte paper and the semi gloss paper. Um, this one is the uh, matte paper. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing my silly gloves that make me look a little bit like a snooker referee or a magician or something. <laughs> um, it's just because I sell these on my website and I don't want to leave greasy fingerprints on them. Uh, but yeah, this is the Photospeed NST315 matte paper. The colours look great. There's no banding or anything. You've got that big kind of area of flat gradient colour there. But it just looks so smooth and, and really nice. Um, it's sharp. I mean, not as sharp as the Canson paper, which we'll see in a moment. But, you know, for a matte paper, that's, uh, that's pretty sharp still. And uh, it feels really good. You know, it's 315 GSM. Um, feels good. It's got a slight texture to it. Uh, like I said, it's called bright white, but it, it is, it's not quite as white as the Canson paper. Uh, it's got a slightly warmer tone to it. And yeah, it's just good for, um, it's got that fine art feel to it. It softens the edges a bit, makes it look a bit more painterly. It feels, yeah, it feels like a fine art print rather than, you know, that high gloss snapshot style print. I'm really impressed with this paper. Um, I think that looks great. We'll compare that to the Canton Infinity Photographic 2 Barita paper. You'll see there's much more of a sheen there. It's not high gloss, but it has got a kind of satin, semi-gloss, lustre feel to it. The sharpness of it is uh, it, well, it's much sharper than, well, I wouldn't say much sharper, but it, it's sharper than the matte paper, which you'd expect. 
because uh, the, the ink doesn't soak into the paper as much as it does with the matte paper. You know, a lot of people prefer the, the matte paper when they're exhibiting in galleries and things just because it hasn't got that kind of reflective, it's not reflecting lights when people are trying to look at it. But the quality is very similar uh, with, with both in terms of the colour and the weight of the paper. This is also a, a quite a heavyweight paper. Uh, 310 grams this one so yeah only five grams less than the uh, photo speed so yeah they were great and um, both great papers and on top of that I got some custom ICC profiles made uh, by photo speed so obviously photo speed make their own paper and they also sell the Canson paper um, and they have a service where you can get a custom ICC profile for your particular printer which will optimise the information you send from your computer to your printer and make sure it prints accurately on, on the particular paper that you're using. So that's good and yeah, the, the colours and, and quality of the print has really improved since I've installed those profiles. So I recommend you do that. So I'm going to do a couple of prints now. Um, I'm going to test out this print here which is of a falcon. Um, I think that's going to look good on a on the semi-gloss Canson paper, um, just because it's got that, I think it'll just complement the image, it's got that kind of shine in the eye and I think the gloss will kind of just bring out the, the blacks in the background and the rich blacks in the eye and things and just, yeah, just complement that kind of semi-gloss feel. For the matte paper, I'm gonna do a woodland shot. That should work well on, the, on that type of paper and give that kind of soft, painterly type feel to the image. So, yeah. Um, let's do that. Let's print off some images and see what they look like. Okay, so we're in the develop view right now. I'm going to go up to print up here. And this is already kind of set up for my printer, the Epson XP970. It's on A3. Uh, the only things I'm going to change here are the print sharpening. I'm going to change from matte to glossy. And then, as I was saying earlier, I've got some custom profiles. So I will choose the profile for um, the Canson paper. And we'll just go into printer and we will choose, um, we'll just check the color matching. So that's been managed by ColorSync not the, uh, we're going to colour options as well. It's not being managed by the printer itself. It's being managed by the profile, so that's good. Going to print settings. We're gonna choose um, Epson Premium Semi-Gloss, that's probably the closest, best quality, and then print. Okay, so this is the image I want to print on my matte paper. If we go up to print, what I want to do with this one is just take the image a little bit closer to the top of the paper so it's less central. So we just have a little bit more margin at the bottom. I think that looks nice. And then I am going to change the print sharpening to matte and we will change the ICC profile to the correct one for the photo speed paper. Go to the printer, we can just check the colour settings, all good. And then for the print settings I'm going to choose Epson matte. For some reason you can't choose best quality with matte, you can only choose quality, but the uh, the print comes out great anyway, so I'm going to click print and then it's over to the printer. Right then, let's have a look at the results. So this one is the Falcon on the Canson paper. Um, I'm so impressed with this, I think, <laughs> I think this has come out great. Just the textures and the feathers. The richness of the black is so smooth and solid, there's no banding at all. 
and it, yeah with the barrier to paper it's just so deep and rich and really complements the picture I think uh, you've got that sun setting in the bird's eye and that natural glossy feel is just emphasized by the, the semi-gloss paper and it feels good too it's, it's a heavyweight paper it feels good and then this one equally I'm equally impressed with this but for different reasons so this image has naturally got reduction in clarity and texture and a little bit of dehaze. I did all that in Lightroom just to soften the image and emphasize the kind of foggy scene. Um, but even still, even though it's got all those reductions in, in sharpness, it still looks pretty sharp. <laughs> but it, it also has that kind of like painterly feel as well, which is what I wanted and that fine art feel. And the natural texture of the paper just emphasizes that. It's a little bit warmer than the Canson paper because it's not quite as bright white, but that just helps the image. Uh, and the colours look great. Again, really pleased with that. So they are the two papers that I chose. The, uh, the Photospeed NST 315 paper. That's the matte one. And Canson Infinity Photographic 2 Barita paper. That's my kind of semi-gloss paper. Um, they're the two that I researched and, and they seem quite good from all the reviews that I'd read. Uh, like I said, I do want to try some of the Canon papers or the Hannah Muller papers at some point. Um, and maybe at a later date I can do a comparison between the two papers and see which I think is best. But for now, they're the ones I've got, they're the ones I'm using. Um, and if you've got your own favourite papers, uh, let us know in the comments below where, which you think are the best and why you think they're the best. So that's it for this one guys, uh, thanks a lot for watching, if you're new to the channel as always uh, please subscribe, click the big red button down there on my face over here and uh, if you're interested in any of my prints that are for sale I'll put the link uh, to where you can buy them below in the description and just thanks a lot for watching everyone, really appreciate it. So I hope to catch you again for the next video which is next Sunday at 10am. Thanks a lot everyone.